Uh, just a quick line on those suspected explosive devices sent to uh, Hillary Clinton and to Barack Obama. The White House has just condemned uh, what it describes as attempted violent attacks against Obama and Clinton's and other public figures. Let's go to Washington and we can get the latest from our correspondent, Gary O'Donoghue. That breaking news underlining that this is being taken very seriously indeed. Yes, uh, at the moment the Secret Service are describing these as suspicious packages that have been sent to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, to Hillary Clinton at her home in uh, New York State, and to Barack Obama here at his home in Washington, D.C. We don't know how close those packages got or what the, the nature of the suspicion is around them, but, of course, they do come just two days after an explosive device, which is now the way uh, investigators are describing it, was sent to George Soros, the, the philanthropist, the, the billionaire, uh, who's very high profile here in terms of supporting... Uh, democratic courses and democratic uh, uh, politicians here and of course who's been accused by some a small number of people on the right uh, of being involved in funding the the migrant caravan that's been marching up through uh, towards the US border through Mexico so I think the political context in this now we've had these other two devices depending on what they turn out to be uh, is difficult to avoid None of these devices got through to the intended addressee, and that's partly because the security service is on top of things. Yeah, I mean, in the case of these two uh, this morning and last night, they were in a screening process. Actually, what happened on Monday with the device that was addressed to George Soros, it was, a, it was someone who worked for him that took it out of the mailbox, uh, where they believe it had been put by hand thought it was suspicious, called the bomb squad and the FBI, etc. Uh, and they could, had a, did a controlled explosion. So uh, that had the potential, according to investigators, of killing someone if that had gone off. It was a pipe bomb six inches long with explosive sort of powder inside. And, and it had a, det a working detonator attached to it. And they, they do believe that could have killed someone. We'll see what these other devices are. Uh, but as you say, the White House are describing it as a despicable act and that the, those responsible will be punished. We haven't, Simon, at this stage had any claim of responsibility or any indication of the motive. Gary, thank you very much now. Gary Donoghue there in Washington.